Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a company building brush fire resistant prefab homes. This isn't something that's been on my radar until now, but with recent events and an active fire less than 10 kilometers away from where I'm currently sitting, I went down a rabbit hole to see what's out there. If you haven't noticed, what I'm currently sitting in could probably be considered the exact opposite of fire resistant, so by no means am I the fire guy, but I did find some interesting information about a fairly new option that also has a really cool look. I think it's probably possible to build something more fire resistant or even fireproof, but livability has to be taken into consideration unless you're planning on building somewhere that you know with 100% certainty will burn, which doesn't make any sense. The company I found isn't claiming to be able to solve every problem, but does offer some added protection just in case. If you haven't guessed it already, I'm talking about Form Flow Living with their line of modern modular homes offering added fire resistance. What I'm going to do is tell you about the company, check out a few of their models, and get into their pricing. Formflow was established in 2016 to commercialize a world-first metal forming process that has now been used to create a unique range of products for the building industry. They recently added a prefabricated building system to complement the bend. If you're sitting there thinking, wait, what's the bend? I don't even scuba. Well, let me tell you. What they've got going on here is a bending technology that allows them to deliver smooth transitions between corrugated sheet sections at a range of angles. Their website says incorporating the no gaps wall cladding and roofing solution can improve the overall energy of efficiency of a building and reduce its environmental impact. Other benefits include a lower risk of ember attack and improved bushfire performance as well as eliminating the ingress of dirt and small animals. Full disclosure, this company is located in Australia and doesn't currently ship off the continent, but I still think it's important and timely information and maybe they can license their IP to companies around the world. From what I can tell, they came up with the bend first, then created products around that, one of which is Formflow Living. Formflow Living now has a line of pre Fab homes and with their system it's noted on their website that they plan to revolutionize the building industry. They've got two completely separate lines depending on what people are looking for. Their pre-designed line or their full-on custom bushfire rated spaces. The bushfire rated spaces are designed for bushfire prone areas which makes sense and will be custom designed to the site and customers needs. The line is modular and the result of a collaboration with an architect who saw the potential of Formflow's bend no gaps cladding solution for bushfire safe buildings. Long story short, they collab and set out to design and build bushfire resistant buildings that are not only high performance, but still turn heads in a good way. It's noted on a diagram from Formflow Living that the firehouse has three lines of defense, the steel cladding, non-combustible sheathing, and finally fire resistant insulation. A few of the other elements listed include shielded windows, steel joists, and an ember proof door threshold. Again, no on their website in any way are they claiming to be fireproof, but it is added protection. If you want to get your hands on one of their models, they've broken the process down into nine steps. Step one is inquiry, step two is initial consultation, step three is design process, Step four is detailed design and contract documentation. The process is split into design and construction, so there's four steps for design and five steps for construction. The first step of construction is steel frame. Step two is lockup. Step three is fit out. Step four is site works and completion. And step five is handover and maintenance. If you've been following the channel for any length of time, you probably already know that a fully custom home that is designed for a specific property is going to come at a higher price tag than something off the shelf but don't panic. They've got pre-designed options as well, and I am a large fan of the look. Formflow Living currently has a line of three pre-designed spaces ranging in size from around 600 square feet up to almost 1,400 square feet. Each home in the pre-designed line has a similar look with dark metal siding, a peaked roof, and a wood accent. I like it. Starting off with the smallest home currently available in their line, they've got a one bedroom with dimensions of 40 by 15 called the Gable One. The description of the Gable One says, among other things, boasting a generous open plan kitchen, dining area, and decking, this design is perfect for entertaining or anchoring inwards from the hustle and bustle of the world. They've set the offering for the Gable One a bit different than I'm used to seeing. The Gable One refers to the size, but in that size, they offer multiple different floor plans, including one and two bedroom options, an accessible option and a commercial option, so a lot to look at here. Before we get into those, the exterior of the home has the look that I've said many, many times that I like. Shout out to the dark metal siding with the light wood accent on the front. This is a look that's still picking up momentum and I don't see slowing down anytime soon. Out of the gable one layouts, my own personal favorite is the one bedroom option. The way the plan is set up, they've got an entrance on both sides. The main entrance lands directly across from the main bedroom before opening up into the dining room. From there, the kitchen is on the right, then the bathroom, and 
and finally a closet for storage. This is a variation of the two bedroom model that I'm gonna show in just a second. If someone was concerned about maximizing sleeping surfaces and living space, this could definitely be used kind of like a one bedroom studio. Living space during the day, bedroom at night when needed, bingo, bango, bongo, somewhere to hang up my t-shirt when I go to bed. From there, they've got a two bedroom plan with a closed off bedroom where the only real difference is the added wall. The final gable one floor plan that I think people will be interested in that I don't see often but get asked about all the time is an accessible plan. It has the door on the front into the living room followed by the kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. A lot of companies will convert their floor plans to accessible homes but I don't see many showing a standard plan. Moving up in size, the next home they have available is called the Gable 2. The Gable 2 is listed as coming soon but it's a unique plan so I want to check it out anyway. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom, just over 800 square feet. The description says sophisticated interior styling and detailing throughout. Featuring beautiful joinery, cathedral ceilings, double hung windows, built in wardrobe, a tranquil oasis like bathroom, and a color palette to evoke warmth and calm in your private sanctuary. Honestly, evoking a little bit of calm right now would be nice. The design of this home is kind of cool. It's two modules that are placed end to end, but offset side to side for look. The way they have it set up, the entrance is on the front into the living room. It has a galley kitchen and bathroom in the middle with both bedrooms at the back. Just when I thought I'd seen it all, I don't think I've seen a plan like this before. The final model they have listed on their website is the Gable 3. And as far as exteriors go, I think this is probably gonna be my favorite. It's also still in concept phase and listed as coming soon, but worth a look because I think it's gonna be a winner. The Gable 3 is two modules for a total of almost 1400 square feet but instead of being set end to end they're side to side and also offset front to back if that makes sense. I personally think putting the modules side by side improves the layout because it opens up the entire plan. If that's your thing something to think about if not as you were. Inside, I think this layout will work well. The way they have it set, one module is full on common space and the other is bedrooms and bathrooms. The entrance is into the living room and in that half of the home, it goes living room, kitchen, laundry, and access to the backyard. The other half of the home goes bedroom, bathroom, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. So it's split between living space and bedrooms, which I think is kind of nice. It isn't noted when Gable 2 or 3 will be available, but I am definitely a fan of Gable 3. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna check out their prices, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting the video. The prices are listed in Australian dollars, but I will post the USD conversion somewhere on the screen for reference. The Veranda Firehouse shows prices starting at 495,000, the Gable 1 is starting at 204,000, and the Gable 2 and 3 are not yet priced. They must be getting a lot of interest in what they're offering because they're currently only servicing one area. There's an update on their website that states, with an increased demand for housing, Form Flow is currently working through a high volume of Gable 1 orders. Authenticity and transparency are essential to our business, so we want to let you know that for the time being, we are only servicing Victoria. We hope to be able to accommodate orders outside of Victoria in the near future. It isn't noted anywhere what their output is, but they are at capacity, so it would definitely seen people are interested in this style of home. Formflow Living is an Australia-based company with a line of prefab homes that utilize their Bend technology. Their designs look great and it's no surprise that they've had to limit their orders to their immediate area. Wildfires have been on my mind with everything going on lately so it was interesting to find out more about a company that's building something that's more resistant. They've got new designs in the works and I want to see what the Gable 2 and 3 look like built out so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.